Good evening everyone. We are going to learn the last alphabet, last Hebrew alphabet, Tav or Tav. Uh, I, I hope, I believe that uh, all of you are concerned of learning Hebrew. So the first letter we learned, first letter Aleph, but this is the final letter Tav. Uh, we're going to learn about the meaning of Tav. Okay, we have to review a Hebrew alphabet. We try to find our Tav, the last alphabet. That's a cross mark, the last one. Cross mark, Tav. The meaning here, mark, sign, or covenant. Okay, let us repeat after me from the left. Repeat after me, mem, the, the water wave, and noon, noon, fast moving, and then samek, and then ein, the picture of eyes, and the pear, the picture of mouth, and then tzade, picture of moving animal, and then kof, there's a sunset, sun on the horizontal line, the resh, human head, the sin, it has another sound, sin or shin, the different meaning, shin means warm breath, sin means crown, and finally, tav, so pay attention to tav, the final consonant, alphabet, tav. Okay, repeat with us. What was supposed to be the origin of Tav? What could be the origin of Tav? Yeah, this is the letter, cross mark, X mark, uh, and then there's a standing stone. The third picture, there's an Aramaic picture, and then the right one, the last one, there's a modern Hebrew, Tav. The ancient Hebrew, the left side, cross mark and X mark. Okay, what was supposed to be the origin of Tav? That's a guesswork. There's no clear-cut uh, explanation in the Bible. And someone, someone guessed in this way, two sticks or two arrows crossed to mark on something precious. For example, Japan. It's probable. There's a probable guess. But when you put two sticks to mark on something precious on the wilderness, on the dry land, they are easily blown away. They blow away by wind. Or they are covered by the sand or dust. Tav cross mark was a visual mark. We must pay attention. Visual mark on the forehead. You see? It has continual effect, not temporal effect. Is a visual mark, continual effect, visual mark on the forehead of saved ones in the Bible. The tough cross mark was the sealing mark on the forehead of kind. Okay, this is a biblical understanding. God put this sealing mark on the forehead of kind. It's for protection, continual protection. Not to be killed. Okay, Genesis 4.15. Then again, Ezekiel 9.4. This is a mark for salvation. Okay, now I'm going to introduce inscription, permanent inscription on the rocks. The ancient people, they used to, they love to inscribe uh, their letter on the rocks. Because in ancient times, there's no paper. The rocks, stone tablet or clay tablet that's the that's the book okay some scholar they guess it is originated from uh, egyptian language but no way there's no similar tab in the egyptian letters do you see the egyptian alphabet p 
Q R S T T T. Okay, pay attention. T T. Does the Egyptian the picture letter T is like a half moon? Is like a thrones, shoelings. There's no cross mark uh, among Egyptian picture letters. There's no similar town in Egyptian picture letters. Okay? Ancient Hebrew alphabet, ancient Hebrew alphabet system is quite different from Egyptian alphabet. Okay? Quite different from Egyptian alphabet. It means Hebrew alphabet was not originated from the Egyptian picture letters. Okay, there is a uh, wonderful excavation happened. Uh, this is the, okay, the, do you see rocks, inscription on the rocks in gray color? The scholars, they say, it is inscribed in the year of 1480 BC, 1480 BC in Sinai. Pagan temple. In the Sinai Peninsula, there's a pagan temple built by Hebrew slaves. Hebrew slaves. So, as archaeologists excavate, they found out ample amount of the, the archaeological findings. And they found out many Egyptian paleoglyphs are written, but Surprisingly, they found out different system of letters. And this is the example. The Hebrew slaves wrote something on the stone statue in ancient Hebrew. Okay, so, so we may understand Hebrew slaves, they were working in uh, Delta area, Nile River Delta area. Ram set, but they walked even in Sinai Peninsula. Okay, okay. Try to find out cross mark on the gray one. Cross mark. How many cross mark? One, two, three. Okay, this is a Tav, ancient Hebrew letter Tav. Okay, on the right side, then the one human hand pointing. What, what is it? There's a menorah. It is found out in Saudi Arabia. Median, in ancient, in biblical Median area. This is the real mountain Sinai area. On the foothill, mountain Sinai, real mountain Sinai. Okay, real mountain Sinai located not in the Sinai Peninsula, but in the Saudi Arabia, western the the northwestern part of Saudi Arabia. Uh, this is the place they made menorah here. You see menorah, and then there's a C cuff, a cross mark, one cross mark, another, and below, sure cross mark. Okay, this cross mark this is a tav, Hebrew letter, or median letter, or Canaanite letter, okay? Mm. Secular, secular archaeology, they say, they named it uh, Canaanite. Or some secular scholars say the Phoenician. But uh, we would better use Canaanite. What we believe us, that's ancient Hebrew. Okay, we, we believe that the godly people, godly Hebrew people used this cross. But even pagans used this cross. Okay, Sumerians, the very earlier era Sumerian, this Sumerian dynasty was built up and then ruined before Babylonian Empire. Sumerian, most antique the ancient ancestor. 
Okay, Tammus or Greek Bacchus cross mark. Okay, let's read it one by one. Egyptian deity hold cross shape cross mark key ankh meaning life. Okay, look at the woman. Okay. On the head part, there's a, a sun. This is the image of sun god. The she's holding one, right? On the right hand, step, iron step. Left, the cross mark. I assume it is key. But the scholars assume it is also cross mark. The meaning is life. When they bless someone, when the ancient the priest bless the worshiper, they use this cross mark and then place over the mouth, over the faith of the worshiper. That's a symbolic sign of blessing. Okay, and then right there's a cross, it is called sun cross. Round, there's a round circle and inside there's a cross. It is called Sun Cross. Okay, you see, uh, this is the there's a picture. It's a picture of Nenurta, Sumerian god, Sumerian supreme god, god of farming, god of war, god of everything. Nenurta. It was existed about four thousand B.C. 4000 BC in Iraq. Uh, find out as a pendant, cross mark pendant in him, cross mark pendant. Uh, this is the concept of pagan god. They were a uh, great hero, they were great king while they were alive. But when they passed away, they are deified, they become a national god. Okay, this is an image carrying the cross mark pendant, okay? This is sun cross. So this is the symbol of, uh, this is a god of sun, god of stars. And then another pagan news across Tammuz. Tammuz is a god of fertility and wine, equivalent to Greek God of wine, Bacchus, but uh, Babylonian language Tammuz, adored by women. Before Babylonian exile, even Jerusalem women worship this Tammuz. Okay, this is the picture of Tammuz. Uh, pay attention, wearing hairband. Okay, along the hairband, what kind of marks? There are yeah. the hairband decorated decorated with many cross mark it covers. So what is true is this: both the godly people, Israelite and even pagans, they believe that cross mark has a deep meaning, divine meaning. So the, even though they are false gods. But they are decorated with cross mark. This is a general understanding. Okay, now uh, tonight I'm going to give you. I, I'm going to introduce second thought. So another idea of tough cross mark. Up to now we understood the cross mark, tau tav, Most probably it was. Teba, I, I'm suggesting Teba. Teba means ark built by Noah. Okay, this Teba or Tav was a sure sign of getting salvation. Okay, biblically, okay, the kind received this mark, cross mark, and then before destruction of Jerusalem, Saved people, Ramnam, they received the sign of 
cross mark. It is a sure sign of getting salvation. Okay, because of the ark, big ship, big vessel built by Noah, the, his family, eight people, was saved. They could be functioning also the sure mark of salvation. So in Hebrew letter, it is called Teba. The, the big boat called Teba. The Teba, similar sound of Tav, okay? Okay. I want you to read Teva in Hebrew letter Teva, Tav, double T, Vav, what, what's the uh, no, double T and Beth. What's the meaning of Beth? House. And then final letter He, the Ark. Double T means sure mark, house, and with the Holy Spirit. That's the meaning of ark. Okay, so what's the meaning of ark? Boat, big boat. But according to ancient Hebrew, tav tav means sure sign, the godly sign, sure godly sign over the house. Okay, so the shape of ark was many scholars modern scholars assume that's a very very big very big box wooden box just a, it's good for floating on it not sailing not good for sailing just floating so it is the house the floating house there is a sure godly sign godly mark of salvation yeah and finally in the holy spirit that's the meaning of ark the Moses was placed here and delivered from death. Moses and his family members, okay, entered into there and they were saved from death. It could be functioning as a sure mark of getting salvation. Okay, number one, image, imagine getting life, okay, try to imagine in your mind. Imagine getting life from the cross mark. Number two, the mark of Tav plays a Passover role also. Okay, many scholars assume the Passover, during the day of Passover night, they, they, they place the blood over the door frame, okay? Door frame. It's a Passover role. When every house, okay, painted by the blood of the lamb, a Passover lamb, then they were delivered. They are not attacked by uh, killing angels. Okay, many scholars assume it is also cross mark upon the and the cross mark on the door frame, on the door. But there is a second one. Ezekiel uh, clearly pointed the place the, the cross mark upon the forehead of the man, the sign and cry for all the abomination, all the sinful idol worship, all the abomination practiced in Jerusalem. Okay. Put on the mark, cross mark on the forehead. And then in the Revelation, New Testament, the final book, putting a seal on the forehead clearly, where cross mark should be marked on the forehead. And now I'm going to introduce the real practice. Now, uh, Ethiopian, this is a photo of Ethiopian Christians. They follow the mark on the forehead. They made tattoo. Tattoo, when they were a child, they made a tattoo on the forehead here. You see? The Coptic church members in Ethiopia. Coptic church members, Ethiopia. Even today, they practice this. And then I found out uh, while I was living in Galilee, the Arabian Christian, I was living with Arabian Christian community. 
Um, they introduced themselves. They immigrated from Syria. They immigrated from Beirut. You know, all women, all girls, they carry this kind of cross mark on the wrist. On the wrist, inside. Uh, this is the real culture of the Middle East Christians. Coptic Church members. Okay, in Ethiopia, they bear this cross mark, lifelong cross mark on the forehead. But Galilean, they, they carry this cross mark on the wrist, on the hand, not on the forehead. So it proved, they proved that the cross mark, they believe cross mark, okay? Both ancient time and then New Testament days, cross mark, tav, has been functioning, the mark for getting salvation. Do you want to get this cross mark? Do you want to have this kind of tattoo? Okay, uh, in the Bible, you must not make tattoo on your body like pagans. Okay, there are, now I'm, I must tell you this way. There are two kinds of tattoo, godly tattoo. And then, godly tattoo, tav, named tav. Okay, pagan tattoo named kaka is different. The, the name is different, kaka, the pagan tattoo. Usually, pagan tattoo, they grave, they put mark of their uh, pagan god, pagan sign of god. But here, the Christian, godly people, cross mark, just cross mark. That's different. Tav, biblical people, is called Tav, cross mark. The pagan people, Kaka, different. Okay, now we are going to learn an example, show example of biblical word, start with Tav. Okay, uh, the Bible, in the Bible, the law, it is called Torah, Torah, Pentateuch, five books, Torah is a very much important letter. In the word Torah, according to ancient Hebrew letter, that are started by Tav, Tav, okay, two double Tav means Tav one Tav means uh, sure mark and the important mark. The double mark, double Tav means sure mark, okay. And then this this one uh, Vav in the in the middle Vav is a tenth pack. Vav is a tenth pack. The function tenth pack is connect tenth pack to the tent pole, okay, by the tent rope. So in the verbal meaning is unite, connect. Okay, do you see human head? It is called resh. Human head, resh, means man. And the final letter, he, the spirit of God. Okay, now let us try to understand the meaning. What is the law? What is the Torah? Torah is a very precious thing. A very precious thing. A very precious thing means uh, okay, double tav tav. Very precious thing that makes man rush to be united the valve to the spirit of God here and bless it. That's the meaning of Torah. Anyone who read Bible, okay? They are blessed, they are saved. Okay? In their heart, they get sure cross mark. Bible centered Christian. Okay? We must become Bible centered Christian. Okay? In your eyes, in your heart, uh, then the double cross mark will be engraved in your heart. Then you become holy man. You are dealing with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so read your Bible every day. Bible reading Christian. To be the Bible-centered Christian, this is the way to be saved. This is the way to be protected, to be protected, okay? We are supposed to be protected by God. 
We must not be afraid of pandemic, coronavirus. Okay? I want you to carry sure sign up cross mark in your heart. With the Jewish people and then Christian, we must carry sure cross mark. Mark of protection, mark of getting salvation. Okay? Imagine this cross mark in your heart tonight. Okay? I wish you have blessed dream, see cross mark, visually cross mark. This is a time of the last days. Because of this cross mark, cross mark of Jesus Christ, we are saved, okay? May God bless you. May you carry cross mark on your forehead. May you carry cross mark on your the delivering message, on your sharing gospel with the neighbors. Then your neighbors is going to get salvation because of your cross mark sharing message. May God bless you. Later all, see you again.